Aeroflot Flight 498 was a Soviet domestic passenger flight from Sevramysk to Ulan Ude that crashed near Lake Baikal on 14 June 1981 en route to its planned stop at Nizhnyangosk Airport, Nizhnyangosk. All 44 passengers including 13 children and four crew members on board were killed, and the aircraft was destroyed. It remains the deadliest crash involving an Ilyushin Il-14. At the time, it was the 30th worst accident in Russian aviation history and is now the 50th worst Russian aviation accident. Topic. Aircraft CCCP-41838 was an Ilyushin Il-14M manufactured on 1 January 1957, with 16,185 total air hours and 18,427 cycles. The aircraft was equipped with engines registered as BB-29471633-2521. At the time of the crash it was being operated by the East Siberia Civil Aviation Directorate of Ulan Ude under Aeroflot. Topic. Flight description. The crew consisted of pilot Alex T. Mordovia, co-pilot Alexander Lobsinovich Kyrmijenov, and engineer Alexander Zarnikov. Aeroflot Flight 498 was originally scheduled to fly from Sevramysk to Baikal International Airport in Ulan Ude, with a planned en-route stop at Nizhnyangosk Airport in Nizhnyangosk. The flight had exceeded its takeoff weight capacity by 186 kilograms, 410 pounds. The aircraft left from Sevramysk at 9:41 Moscow time due to bad weather. Nizhnyangosk airport closed, and the crew rerouted the aircraft to land at an airfield in nearby Ust Barguzin. Mountains surrounding Lake Baikal were at that time obscured by the cloud cover, and visibility was only about 5 kilometers 3.1 miles with rain and winds of up to 5 meters per second 11 miles per hour. Foggy conditions and low visibility were likewise reported on Holy Nose Peninsula, what would later become the aircraft's crash site. At 10.30 Moscow time, almost an hour after takeoff, the crew reported a nearby flight, and at 10.41 began communications with the air tower at Ulan Barguzin in preparation for landing. Conditions around the Ust Barguzin airfield were slightly more favorable than had been projected at the aircraft's height. At 11.02 the aircraft called in to report their location, but in violation of air rules, the crew instead called the air control tower at Ulan Ude and did not report back to Ust Barguzin. Additionally, they did not report their location or weather conditions. The aircraft's data finder, ARP-6, was found to be unstable, about which the Ust Barguzin Air Tower warned Flight 498 well in advance. Due to the faulty equipment, the flight deviated to the right from its course about 32 kilometers 20 miles. At 11.16, the aircraft descended from a height of 3,600 meters 11,800 feet to 2,700 meters 8,900 feet. Shortly before the crash, the flight crew intentionally misinformed the flight deck that the airfield was in sight, and the air tower gave them visual instructions on landing. The crew accepted these instructions at 11.21, without actually being in sight of the airfield. 
The pilot then mistook the Holy Nose Peninsula for the location of the airfield. At 11:22 Moscow time, the aircraft crashed 1,300 meters (4,300 feet) above sea level on the side of a mountain located on the Holy Nose Peninsula in Lake Baikal, about 30 kilometers (19 miles) from the Ust Barguzin airfield. The flight crashed at a 10-degree angle to the left and an angle of trajectory of 2 or 3 degrees. All 48 people—44 passengers including 13 children and 4 crew members—were killed during the crash, and the aircraft was destroyed beyond repair. Much of the equipment was destroyed in the crash, making the exact cause of the accident difficult to pinpoint. Among this equipment was the radio compass ARC-5, making its efficiency impossible to determine. Ultimately, the crash was attributed to passive piloting and crew error. <laughs> 